75 kids from 12 school districts across Ward County competed for a chance to go to the state spelling bee. Crystal Quow caught up with some of the competitors to find out who's the top speller. While the top two spellers would advance to the state bee, everyone who advanced to the county level was a winner. Some receiving medals around the necks or trophies. Sunflower. The words started off simple. Sunflower. Meant to ground the students. The word top gallant took fifth grader Lucas Reinhold out of the competition. I hope that next year I'll win and get some more trophies to look cool. Jody Johnson, Ward County Superintendent of Schools, has been conducting spelling bees since 2004. The kids seem to get smarter every year. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Imagine being your own spell checker in front of judges. The competition slowly dwindled. When it came down to Miguel Montalvo and Milo Underwood, the two went back and forth trying for several rounds to be the first person to spell two words in a row, one letter at a time. In the end, Milo, a seventh grader, took first place. I just tried really hard and I was really hoping I could beat him even though he's from the same school as me. And for those who didn't win, there's always a next year for these fifth to eighth graders. On the Minot State University campus, I'm Crystal Quow reporting for your news leader. Now Miguel and Milo both qualified for the state spelling bee, which will be held in Bismarck on March 20th. Congratulations to them.